how easy it is to change the HST fan on a Branson LS TYM or Mahindra subcompact tractor then stay tuned. I recently ran over a stick it shot up underneath the tractor and uh, consumed nine of the ten blades on my HST fan. Uh, you'll see I attempted a Kubota replacement but it didn't quite line up with the holes so tomorrow UPS is delivering my new fan which is a Mahindra variant. So make sure you get your tractor uh, at least a little bit in the air then set the bucket, set your three-point implement if you have one and set your brake for safety. Uh, this is me demonstrating that the BX23S fan does not align hole for hole although it would have been a cool replacement just didn't work out. Alright, what will you need to do this? You'll need a 12 millimeter offset wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench offset preferred, a socket of some kind, socket wrench. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket or wrench and of course you'll need a 12 millimeter socket or wrench. Additionally to make things easier uh, a knuckle and two 10 or 12 inch extensions uh, for whatever socket wrench you use. I'll show you later in the video why. Some gloves of either kind and a beer. No, I'm just kidding you don't need a beer this project is pretty easy. So getting up under the tractor, you'll see that there is a through bolt that is actually connecting the drive shaft uh, to the spline. And all you need to do is remove that with two 10 millimeter wrenches or sockets, get that center bolt popped through, and this shaft is actually retractable, which makes this a very easy process, especially when compared to Kubota, where I believe you have to move the motor uh, if I read that correctly. Uh, so it is a nylock nut so it'll take some time to come off it's a little cramped uh, but once that's off you'll be able to slide the shaft right off and the fan will come with it. This is taking another angle most frustrating part of this video was getting the right angles for you, but this is why you need a 12 millimeter offset uh, to kind of reach around the back side of the fan. Uh, but these bolts, uh, they should be relatively protected and very easy to remove. Uh, I preferred this method of sticking a finger up there to kind of guide the box end onto the bolt, uh, but you'll just want to work it loose a little at a time. Uh, and it should come right out with a washer and then once that's done uh, I'll show you how I got my other bolt out. Now in my case I got lucky uh, I was perpendicular to the ground meaning one bolt was on the bottom and one bolt was directly on the top of the fan uh, so <clears throat> in this case I lined up the top bolt perfectly. I'm showing you that the, the box end wrench will work if that's your alignment. Uh, you'll see I get about a quarter turn on it but I actually used extensions. I came from the top underneath the seat and it made removing that bolt extremely easy. Now once you get that second bolt removed all you're gonna do is get up onto the tractor and pop the fan off. I was a little hot, a little tired so you'll see me struggle with this but the fan comes right off. It's a really easy replacement. Alright, so that's the removal process. The installation process is the same, just in reverse. I currently, as I mentioned in the video, I don't have the exact part. The Kubota part didn't work. The Kubota part was $8. The replacement from Mahindra TYM or from Branson is anywhere between $40 and $50. Um, I have one coming tomorrow. I can certainly make a video of me doing that process in reverse, but I didn't see the need to waste anyone's time with that. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, in the description, I'll have that part number. It's a TYM part technically, but it'll work for the Mahindra and it'll work for the Branson.